we can see. We can see. Also, if the uh, if the esports TV stream improves to 480p or better, I guess, could somebody let me know? Oh, uh, speak of the devil, or speak of the angel. Speak of the angel. Bisu is actually coming out in game number one, so it's going to be a PvP between Mugi and Bisu. Um, because of course we are watching the PV Pro League. Um, yeah. Cool. So where's Cat? Where's Cat? Beast is playing. Alright, going into the game. Looks like we're on Electric Circuit. Ooh, that's curious. Um, electric Circuit lends itself to some very funky PvPs, as we saw last season. Uh, basically because there's no ramp, it's a completely flat map, no chokes. Uh, you can do all sorts of crazy things. Um, and by crazy things, I generally mean that the standard on this map will, is, is kind of like 3 gate goon with obs. Um, you can't go for like a super fast reaver, like off one gateway, or even two gate obs is less safe than on other maps, uh, just because you don't have as much of a defender's advantage. Now, having said that, having said that, I remember, I remember, like there were a couple of games last season where I was talking about that, and then like the guy just goes one gate robo into reavers anyway, and I'm just like, uh, you're kind of making me look dumb, but actually I think you're making you look dumb because I still, I even though the pro gamers did it, I don't think that's very safe on this map at all. It's not. <laughs> so anyway, this is going to be cross positions. Yes, yes, yes. Back to the game. Hey! Why are you holding up a Korean sign? I can't read that. Oh, alright. That guy is 208 centimeter Dan. Is there really a clan that's like the tag is 208 centimeters? Or is he just like, is he just like showing off his his great height or something. I, he I hear Korean girls are into tall guys, so maybe like that's what he was doing. So like his ID is actually Dan, but then you know when he goes to Korea he adds the tag that has his height on it, so it's more girls. I'm sure, I'm sure being a tall white guy, he'll get plenty of girls in Korea. But 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 it would be uh, it would be even more amusing though if there was actually a clan where the tag was just 208 centimeters. I mean you know why not why not? It's his clan tag. He can do whatever he wants. So <laughs> so we have one guy who's like. <laughs> oh man, that, that guy's like prepared for the zombie apocalypse, except he just like prepared in a way that makes him look badass instead of this like, instead of functional preparation. <laughs> that guy's awesome. Oh man, you see that guy has absolutely, see, that guy does not need to hide his face. Alright, and it looks like we're gonna have some hidden text, probably gonna be DTs. Um, but, that guy See, is showing all those fangirls how you're supposed to do it, alright? Instead of being all, oh my god, I'm on the camera now, let me hide my face. Just free and wrap it up in a, in a scarf like a bandit and put on those sunglasses. That guy, freaking bandit, man. Yeah, so it's gonna be DT Rush from, uh, from movie against Bisu, which is quite ironic considering that Bisu is, uh, is known for his DT shenanigans. And let me quickly just put the clock positions on the over the way. Um, movie of the, is of course the purple Protoss and Bisu Zilla Protoss. In case you didn't know. In case you didn't notice. Anyway. So Bisu Pro goes into movie's base. Now Bisu will notice that there's no second pylon in movie's base. So that's going to make him a little bit suspicious. I feel like he's probably going to use his probe to run around and look for it. Yeah, look at this. He, he went to the back of movie's now. Natural. He's going now probably to 3 o'clock as well. 
Um, so he's just looking for the uh, for where that pylon is. Uh, in the meantime, the Templar Archives has just been placed in the main base. Or actually, no, it's, is it being chased by Dragoon? It looks like it's actually being chased by Dragoon. Okay, so it's just been chased away there, but... Um, yeah, you can just tell from what's revealed on the minimap that the probe did swing down to the bottom of the natural. Um, sometimes paralysis will just hide the tech there. Although I don't think there's actually that much space behind the natural here on Electric Circuit. It's much more common on maps like Jade, where you got actually got like a little bit of room back there, so you can just stick a stick citadel behind the minerals. Anyway, so Bezo has no idea this is coming. He's going for three gateways. Is he going to make a robo though? That would be the safe thing to do. Although it still might be slightly slow for the impending DTs, but um, since it's cross map, if he gets a robo now, I think he'll still be okay. However, the archives is done. Is he getting a robo? Oh goodness, Bisu, where's your robo? Why is he staying at a probe? Is he gonna three gate expand? Uh, no, that was just for a pylon. All right, he's cut probes now. What is Bisu doing? Bisu, make a robo, man. You see, you can't not make a robo. Oh my god, I, is BC just like metagaming this? Because DT builds on this map are not, well, they're not, it's not that they're not effective, but they're kind of risky for the same reasons that going for a super fast Reaver is risky. Because when you go for fast DTs, you're heavily cutting into your Dragoon count. So, you know, if the if the other guy sees you're going DTs, he can actually just counter like with his Dragoons. And if he goes 3 gate OBS, then you're kind of boned. Because you just can't hold your base anymore. But Bisu just didn't go OBS. Because Bisu's like, well, DTs are kind of risky on this map, he probably won't do it, so let me just, let me just not. <laughs> um, and look at this! Look at this, Bisu doing the double forge block. We did see this last season. That I believe that is a tight wall off, actually. So that's going to buy him time for his Robo to finish. And meanwhile, he's going to counterattack with, uh, with these Dragoons. But unfortunately, those DTs are just wailing away at the forge. Is it going to be... Enough? Oh man, it's not gonna be enough. And oh man, he's losing all of his dragoons in the main. Or actually, wait. No, I think that was Movie losing all of his dragoons. Two dragoons remaining for Bisu. And to try and pick off some probes. That's a very standard move when you see your opponent going DTs. But oh no, this Robo might come under attack. He should just attack the Robo. If he attacks the Robo, I think he'll win now. If he attacks the Robo, I think he will win. Movie needs to attack the Robo. Why is he not attacking the Robo? Oh, there's a Photon Cannon as well. He's gonna kill Photon Cannon. He needs to attack the Robo. If he kills that Robo before the- actually, he doesn't even need to kill the Robo right now. The Robo's gonna die before an OBS gets out anyway. It's gonna take so long because you need an Observatory to get the OBS. So we'd have to wait for the Observatory build time, and then for the Observer build time. So that's just not gonna happen. And Bisu GG's! Bisu cannot stop the Dark Templars, and Movie takes game number one, with essentially a build order counter there. Hard countering Bisu. Fast DTs versus 3 gate, no OBS. I can't help but feel that that was a little bit of Bisu's fault there, playing unsafe, delaying that robo by so long. I mean, that's 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 a risk you take on flat maps like that. Like there was a very interesting dynamic when match point was in play. Uh, there would be it would be like it'd be like, well, I can four gate you, so if you go two gate ofs, you'll die. But then if you rush for DTs and I four gate, then I in, you know then I'm hard countered. It was actually just rock paper scissors. You know, on normal maps, when you have a ramped map, it's not the case because even if you go like two gate obs, you can kind of hold a four gate depending on like how fast you scout it. But um, yeah, but on that, but on but on flat maps like that, it's just like well, you know, I cannot make an obs and kill, or I cannot make a robo and kill you if you're making a robo. But if you make DTs, then I'm boned. So that was a little bit sad for DC fans everywhere. Myself included, I, I'm crying tears of blood right now because um, DC lost, even though he's like the most handsome player ever. <clears throat> That's right, Haram. I am the number one BC fan. For sure.